Endometrial cancer arises from the lining of the womb, which grows and sheds in response to sex hormones during the menstrual cycle. It is one of the most common women's cancer worldwide and one of the few cancers with an increasing death rate. Major risk factors for endometrial cancer include increasing age and obesity. As a consequence, aging populations and the growing obesity epidemic globally are driving endometrial cancer rates higher than ever before. But not all women who develop endometrial cancer are obese and we are also seeing an increasing amount of young women receiving an endometrial cancer diagnosis. Abnormal vaginal bleeding is the most common symptom, but as this symptom is also often present for other benign conditions, further investigations are required for an accurate diagnosis. The pathway from GP to a specialist may take a long time and many tests are often needed to confirm endometrial cancer before a patient can start treatment. Diagnosis and treatment generally involve invasive methods and can include radical removal of reproductive organs. This is particularly risky for those of advanced age or for those with other coexisting conditions and not preferred by younger patients who wish to preserve their fertility. This is where my PhD project comes in. I am working with Dr. Emma Crosby and Professor Gareth Evans to identify subtle genetic mutations which may predispose or increase a person's likelihood of developing endometrial cancer. This would allow me to create a unique risk prediction model for each patient to be able to offer personalised prevention methods. Here at the University of Manchester, together with Manchester University NHS Foundation Trust and NIHR Manchester BRC, we are conducting a number of research projects to determine the cause of endometrial cancer, identify ways to predict and prevent it in advance, and offer non-invasive or more effective treatment plans. To find out more about our projects, ask questions or give feedback to help shape our future research, please find us on Twitter.